Uh, so we still have a grand final set to go. Uh, Kai has a set to so potentially bring it back, and then if he does, he would have to close it with another set. I'm not sure about doing grand finals for round robin. Seems a bit, uh, it's a bit grueling. But more melees to be played. It's never a bad thing, I suppose. little back air, some solid juggling for that stock. Seems like the Street Fighter boys were finished. Street Fighter 6, the new hot fighting game. Welcome to the chat table. It tells me that it's your first time commenting. Great to have you here. Well, you gotta give Kai credit. He, he got absolutely bodied last game, and now he is making it look super competitive. He, in fact, has the lead as of me saying this, which that's pretty damn good. I'm kind of. I feel like this stage is just getting better and better for Falco, honestly. I was talking with um, Gamooks about it, that. Uh, I mean, it's been true forever that Falco, like, camping laser under the side platforms is strong, but I feel like it's only getting stronger as time goes on, and we haven't had a lot of time in the metagame to fully explore Unfrozen Stadium as an option. Like, uh, Kai used to play before before we froze Pokemon Stadium, so he still has this, like, inbuilt muscle memory, like, I want to go to Yoshi's Story first, always Yoshi's Story, but I think there's an increasing argument that Pokemon Stadium could actually be the play, at least when you're getting outpaced in a technical sense. Seems like you know, Kai's getting a bit of a chance to warm up here. Um, to be anything with Peach, she doesn't, she doesn't actually have good movements, so, like, or good movement speed. She can't get from one side of the stage to the other side very quickly, so... On a stage like Pokemon Stadium, you do get a bit of room to breathe, get your tech skill better, whereas on Yoshi's Story, you're just potentially getting minced up, which is exactly what happened last game. Now Kai's got a healthy almost stock lead. Uh, McLeod looking to get a reversal, yeah, and he does! Oh, beautifully done. It managed to survive as well. We could have gone a few different ways. One of them was uh, both players losing the stock, but no, McLeod managed to hang on with a trade from the Firebird. No up air KO from Kai. He's got to find a strong backer at this point. Maybe some kind of... Oh. More lasers. Jab, down tilt, shine. It's not quite going to kill an absent. There's the backer. Hello. Oh, he's turning the heat up. This is what you save save all your juice for, and unfortunately, down smash reversal. Oh. Very tragic. That was looking like a great comeback, but unfortunately, just a frame or two too slow on that down air. Clips the down smash. It's about a few. This, I think, is fair enough because Pokemon Stadium let him uh, warm up a bit. It might not actually be his preferred stage for the matchup because once Kai is warmed up, his game plan, it seems, is to overwhelm the cloud. He just needs to actually get the text together to be able to do that without getting reversal and dying. So, oh, beautiful! Battlefield's almost like a uh, best of both worlds. I mean, you're getting the space to move around a bit like Pokemon Stadium, so if things start to go pear-shaped, he can always play a little bit defensive, start camping the top platform, etc. But, if he does want to go in, he gets much more room to uh, do his nasty platform combos. It seemed like on Pokemon Stadium, McLeod was DIing up a lot, imagining to stay, like, just out of range for up air follow-ups or anything like that. It was always just a bit too high percent, so having that um, extra platform height to finish off the conversions might actually help Kai attack on more damage. Another down smash reversal. Alright, we take those. You've got a healthy 100% lead, so nothing to get too bitter about at this point, but that's the kind of thing where, combined with the way the last game ended, you can really tilt a guy, so McLeod would be looking to... 
in mind, since they're holding on to the stock. Still though, if I can uh, take this one early. With something like this. Oh, not quite. Good counterplay from Kai, gets back on stage. Oh, up out of fair, that was a beautiful conversion. Only two hits and uh, doesn't manage to skill the edge guard, but man, that is that's some unconventional page stuff. I only really love that. Um Kai transitioning to a more patient play style. He recognizes he has the lead, doesn't actually need to run in and try and force any situation. The beautiful thing on this stage is that you can go for those rising back as is Falco and uh Kai's maintained a consistent 100 percent lead for a while now. Cloud's not able to pull back the lead yet. Oh, nice back air. It's not a strong hit, but... Every little bit of percent puts the peach a little bit closer. So I was going to say before, it's great that you can do these, like, rising back airs on this stage and land on the top platform or mix up pretending to land on the top platform. Um, gives Kai, from this position where he has the lead, when peach is at high percent, he can sort of just, like, cruise around the stage of back airs. You can sort of see in his movement there that he's just, like, throwing out auto-cancel back airs to cover the ground, full hop back airs to cover, um the air and floats, and you can almost just do that left and right across the stage until Peach dies. It forces really technical defensive play from the Peach player, without much effort from Falco's part. Oh, beautiful short end. Yep, that was a weak down, that was a poorly timed down, so that's what's going to happen to that. Nice kill. First double shine in the set. Alright, so that's 1 0 Kai? No, 1 1. Is it 1 1 that set? Yeah. yeah. Forgot to update our first game. Alright. Ready and go! Final Nation, we are in Chain Grab Town. It's interesting that the stage isn't like necessarily actually good for Peach versus Falco. Really, I can see. Yeah, I mean, it simplifies the game so much. There is an argument to be made, I think, that you go uh, Fountain of Dreams or even just back to Battlefield, and I don't know. Essentially, I feel like when you pick the stage, you're relying on. Obviously, you're relying on exactly this, but... Hmm. Wow. Grabbed the grab. Catches Badger on the floor, throwing to turn up. Nah, that's gonna take the storm. I take back my skepticism. The cloud really knows what he's doing on the stage. Playing the ledges really well. I'll be to get out of the shine crush. <laughs> I think you can back air and then re grab ledge there. If I'm not mistaken. That definitely was not the right choice. Yeah, some contemplative time in. <laughs> it's about the walk back. Brilliant. Uh oh. Alright, they're both loving. But a cloud can afford to flub. And that's 
Not quite had a really, really good recovery by Kai. Mixed up his options well there. Made it really tricky for McLeod to actually know how to respond, but that's going to do it. 2-1 McLeod's favor. McLeod didn't win his bracket, so he is one game away from taking the tournament. Can Pi pull, Kai pull the comeback? Don't forget to hydrate. It's just a reminder to anyone watching. Your favorite players hydrate. Why don't you? Look after yourself. And look after others. Alright, we're back to Yoshi's. We've got game plan Kai. This is not going to be repeated last time. This time, we've got it figured out. See? See, look at this. He's trapped. He can't, can't even get out for a second. Absurd. Zero to death. And not even uh, all in one nasty guy. He just like called out the movement over and over and over again. Oof! It's funny how many more hits it takes for um, Falco to do it, and then Peach just like clips you with a down smash, aerial off stage, done. It must be hard to decide to down smash when you are a peach of McLeod's caliber because um, you have so many other options that are so threatening. I mean, like, he's got a really devastating chain grab punish game. He's got uh, his really tired float cancel with aerials. Uh, but he opts to down smash in some pretty clever situations. Ooh, quick finish off there. Cloud looking dominating on this level. He's really got his movement figured out at the moment. That'll do it. Just need two more of those. The double jab down air. No. Up be on stage. It works because who's expecting an up be on stage? Neither player. Get up attack's not going to quite beat the up air there, but Kai's managing to live. Oh, that forward air was actually really close to doing some uh, mad work. That shine was also pretty close to filling off the top, but it's not quite going to that percent. Nope, 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 nope. Kai really needs to notice when his follow ups aren't actually going to get to the kill. Nah, GG's, guys. And that's the tournament. Well played. Everyone has, in chat has a good, good evening.